This can be a quick guide on the easiest way to get 3,000 points in 100 barrels in Deep Rock Galactic for the achievement, if only I got paid for this. Um, this was a little bit difficult to do. It just was time consuming and getting down like the I don't know, movement and stuff. And it is a little bit janky um, just on how the pad works and stuff. So um, yeah, I'll try to go over all that real quick like here and try to show you the things that I did to just make this as easy as possible. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. It's going to be the 3000 right there. Let's go. Easy clap. All right, yeah, let's go. All right, first things first, this is how this kind of game kind of works. The pad's gonna be moving back and forth, and if you make them in a row multiple times, it's gonna add up your multiplier. But if you wait too long to kick the barrel in, like it going back and forth twice or something, then it will cancel your multiplier and you'll have to start over. So this isn't terrible though, as if you got like a good multiplier going, like 10 or something, 10, 15, something pretty good you've racked up a decent amount of points and you drop it and the pad is going super fast you're just going to want to wait stop and wait for it to you know slow down to the smallest speed or the slowest speed i mean and then keep kicking them in and this, that's going to be the easiest way to do this and sometimes you can get super lucky and it'll stay slow for like 10 barrels sometimes it'll just take f forever for it to slow down and you'll just be getting reamed by like the thing going max overdrive like over and over and over again so yeah, just look out for that keep that in mind and now i'll try to show how to kind of time out the kicks or whatever for each speed i guess um but i it's really just going to take a lot of um just practicing i guess and just doing it but i can definitely show you where i looked at to kind of like time the kicks and all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah let's get into that all right, let me try to break this down real quick. One is gonna be the slowest speed, four is gonna be the fastest, and that circle is basically gonna signify where you're gonna to wanna to look at to hit those little lines or whatever, um, those little points. So basically, if that little gray corner where the circle's at hits the red line number one, then you're gonna to wanna to kick the barrel if it's at its slowest speed, um, and then the barrel should go directly in and same goes with if it is on its fastest speed and that gray point hits the four line then you should hit the barrel in at that point and it should go straight in so hopefully that all makes sense but um yeah <laughs> if it doesn't leave a comment and ask i guess and i'll try to explain this is all just going to be some extra stuff to kind of show like actual speeds and stuff so this is going to be number two speed right here so as you can see if i hit it right at the number two line would be it goes straight in and if i hit it right at the point when it hits the wall at number one speed it goes straight in just like that and again number two speed hit it right at that number two line would be at again on the two speed and this one's going up to three so it's on that left side of the gray square second from the right and now it's still on that speed so once it hits on the left same thing corresponds so um yeah you're basically just gonna have to kind of get that down it is kind of complicated at start but it makes a lot more sense once you kind of start doing it but uh, yeah just use those little gray squares to kind of line up your shots and that'll just be the easiest thing you can really do um yeah hopefully this helps everybody but yeah, I don't know. It's still going to be hard, but hopefully this should make it easier. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.